I'm not very afraid of being alone. Written by Anna Milborn, illustrated by Sandra de la Prada. Every morning, my big noisy family has a big noisy breakfast together. There's me in the middle of everyone, see? I love having lots of people around. I'm hardly ever alone. Mom says, I'll be working late tonight. Dad says, I can pick up the kids after school. My brother says, I've got a play date after school. Me too. School is full of chattery friends. Gym class is full of tumbly kids. The bus is squished full of people. Daddy says there are too many people, but I don't mind. When we get home, the house is empty because no one else is back yet. But it's okay because Daddy's here. I'm busy drawing when Daddy says, I'm going to start making dinner now, honey. And suddenly, I'm all alone. It's so quiet, I start to wonder, is Daddy even still there? I run and check. There he is, in the kitchen, reading the label on the pasta package. I grab him around the leg and hold on tight. Hello, Noodle, he says and keeps on reading. There's a shiny car under the table, so I crawl underneath to play with it. Vroom. I'm just going out to the garden to get some tomatoes, sweetheart. I'm doing a tricky stunt, zooming up the table leg when Daddy says something, but I'm not really listening. Watch this, Daddy, I say. But he's not there. Where did he go? The kitchen is so big and I'm so small. Daddy! There he is in the garden picking tomatoes. I'm so happy I jump on his back. How you doing, Pickle? He says. My den is out here too. I creep inside and pretend that I'm a squirrel living in the woods. Daddy, I call. Do you want to come inside? But there's no answer. I look out and suddenly see I'm out here all alone. Daddy! There he is in the kitchen, chopping something. Hey, sausage, he says. This time I'm more careful. I keep hold of his leg with one hand while I'm playing ball with the other. It's a bit tricky and he keeps trying to move around. Darling, what's up? He says, I'm trying to cook. You keep leaving me alone. Daddy crouches down to me. Sweetie, I wouldn't ever leave you really alone, he tells me. I'm always very close. And if I say I'm going somewhere, I'll always come back. And I can feel a lovely, warm, safe feeling swirling all around me, connecting me to him. But when he says, I'm just popping upstairs to grab my phone, I can feel that safe feeling slipping away. I'd better just go everywhere he goes, I decide. Wait for me! I follow him to the bedroom, and even to the bathroom. I'd really like to be in here on my own, Daddy laughs. Why don't you sit outside? So I do. He's talking to me and so I know he's still there. But later when I say I'm cold, he says, Then pop upstairs to your bedroom and get your sweater. Will you come? I ask. I'm just putting the pasta on. I'll tell you what. I'll sing so you can hear me. I'll be right here when you get back. He smiles with a big smile. Okay, but sing loudly, I say. I can hear him singing all the way upstairs. It's like a thread connecting me to him. I get my sweater and find my way back along the singing to him. Good job, he says. You did it. And it's true. I did. The next day is Saturday and my family is all home. We're all together again. I want to go outside and see if any buzzy bees or butterflies are visiting today. But no one else wants to come. I don't want to go all alone. You won't be alone, says Mommy. We'll all be just here, not far away. Why don't you give it a try? So I go out all by myself. 
The yard is big and empty, but then I notice fuzzy bees buzzing in the flowers and two butterflies dancing about. There's a little bird singing in a tree, and I think of the singing thread between me and Daddy. So I start singing too. The song is like a thread connecting me to my family through the windows. And I feel happy. Later, when Daddy tucks me into bed, I tell him all about it. That's funny, he says, because there really is a thread. It's been there ever since you were born. It's invisible, but it's so strong and so long it connects you to me and mommy, however far apart we are. What's it made of? I say, excited. It's made of love, says Daddy. Can you feel it? I can feel it. It feels warm and safe. Even when I can't see them, Mommy and Daddy are always there at the end of the thread. And do you know what? When I think about that, I'm not very afraid of being alone after all.